convicted of second degree murder, uh, attempted murder, and shooting into an occupied car. I didn't know I was guilty until I looked at my lawyer when the judge was reading all these verdicts. He read 11 guilty verdicts in open court and still didn't dying on me, you know, what was going on. I look at my lawyer, he's shaking his head. Then I look at my family and they crying. They ran it all together and it was 27 to life. Almost 21 years, 20 years, six months, four days. How did I keep hope? When you got a cat in the corner, no matter what, that cat gonna do what he gotta do. And me, it was that dumb determination, I'm coming home. I got connected with the Innocent Project by writing. I used to write, I, I write one, one letter and then say, I'm innocent to the crime. I got a letter from him and it came with a letter also from a public defender in San Francisco saying that he believed in Maurice's case. It was just kind of amazing, like all these pieces kept falling in and, and everything pointed to Maurice being innocent. The real difficulty in advancing the case was once we filed our petition and the court issued its order, the state just didn't respond. And we did not understand, I still don't understand why. Maybe they just didn't want to deal with the truth. This was a real NCIP case because we didn't have an outside law firm to work with us on the case. So Paige Caneb, our staff attorney, was really the heart and soul of the case. Several different students circulated through our office. They provided an enormous amount of passion, hard work, enthusiasm, legal research, all kinds of aspects of the case they, they really contributed to. The state offered Maurice the opportunity to plead guilty to certain offenses and receive a sentence for those offenses that would have resulted in him being released, released immediately and actually have no parole even attached to it. So it was a very um, a serious deal and uh, one that would have meant all his charges were gone. He walked out and he walked out a free man. I told the judge, I said, Your Honor, I respect, you know what I'm saying, for what, what the DA trying to do. And I'm gonna tell you, if I had 1% involvement in this case, I, I'd take this deal, you know? But being that I don't have no involvement, I, I'm, I'm not taking this deal. I can't see myself taking it. You know what I'm saying? It's too much pride and too many people had hope and belief. It was unbearable, but it was something I had to do. You are taking the chance that you are going to be convicted of a homicide and spend the rest of your life in prison. Absolutely. I could just walk out of here a free man or I can roll the dice and hope that the judge does the, the right thing and hope that the jury does the right thing, knowing that they hadn't done the right thing before. Seeing Maurice walk out of prison was just like a really spectacular day. It was like, you know, restoring my life, you know, and, and that's, that's like a person giving birth. We have great pictures of Maurice getting out. I've been meaning to put one up so I can when I start to get frustrated or just bogged down in all of it, to, to have the reminder of, of the end result and that there's you know someone who whose life gets to start again. My loyalty used to be for my friends and for my neighborhood. Now it's for the positivity and for my family and for the NCIP. He's one of my best friends, and I'm lucky because he's really he's a really great guy, and he's got a huge heart. I love her dearly, and I say, without her, I don't think I'll be here. I got a chance to really know her, and I like Paige very much. You know, good friend. My life is completely turned around, and it's, it's from the support of the NCIP.